meeting of the planning board. Um, I will be sitting in for Carol Ann Jordan today as chairman. Um, first item on the agenda is approval of the minutes. Does anyone have any comments on the minutes? I had one correction, actually. Um, it was just a name that was incorrectly given. Page four, it was uh, third to last paragraph, it says Maggie Nappy. Her name is actually Megan Nappy. Megan? Yeah. Did you say? Megan, yeah. I think you're confusing two people, actually. That was it. You're good. Any other comments? Anyone want to make a motion? Motion that we approve the minutes. As amended. As amended. Second. All approved. It's unanimous. Second item on the agenda is the 19 Wells Road Telecommunications Tower. Global Signal Acquisitions for LLC Crown Castle is requesting site plan review, a resource protection permit, and shoreland zoning review to construct a 180-foot tall telecommunications tower to be constructed at 19 Wells Road, section 19-9 site plan, section 19-8-3 resource protection permit, and section 19-8-2 shoreland zoning performance standards and the applicant has submitted a request to table. May I just be heard for one quick second? Sure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Um, for the record, again, Victor Manoogian for Global Acquisitions for LLC. I have with me again tonight uh, Paul Peckins um, on behalf of the applicant. Um, as you're aware, we've um, requested continuances um, since we last appeared before you in January of this year. And the reason for that has been to look at um, two alternate accesses, access waves, ways in lieu of the one um, initially presented in this project for site plan review. Um, after um, extensive investigation at the other two, um, we've abandoned those and we are redesigning the existing um, access way as presented in the filings from the beginning. Um, it, it's been a challenge for us to do that. It's taken longer than we expected. Um, and um, we are requesting to be tabled for six months. Um, um, we may not um, need that, but we don't want to tax your resources more than we need to and keep putting this on the agenda. Um, and hopefully, if we resolve it sooner, um, we will come back and uh, put it on an agenda sooner and obviously um, pay for any notice or publication costs that would take since this is being continued by a, a, a motion and a vote. If, if you vote that way and if we want to come sooner, we'd have to read notice uh, about ours, et cetera. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll now have a public comment period. If there are any members of the public who wish to come forward and speak on this matter? Seeing none, I close the public comment. Uh, any members of the board have any questions or comments? Anyone want to make a motion? Jim? Uh, Global Acquisitions for LLC is requesting that the Application for site plan review, uh, do I need to read that again? Or can I just go straight to the motion? Yeah. Straight to the motion. Okay. Okay, and shoreland zoning review to construct a 180 foot tall telecommunications tower to be located at 19 Wells Road be tabled to the June. December. It says June. December. Oh, I made a mistake. That's right. Okay. I made a mistake and I was supposed to remember to tell you tonight that, that should be tabled to the de regular December 2018 meeting. To the regular December 2018 meeting of the planning board, whatever date that may be. 18. Motion for the board to consider. You're just seeing if I'm really paying attention to what I'm reading here. Okay. Be it ordered that based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of global acquisitions for LLC for site plan review, a resource protection permit, and shoreland zoning review to construct a 180-foot tall telecommunications, 
telecommunications tower to be located at 19 Wells Road be tabled to the December 18, 2000 meeting of the Planning Board. Second. All in favor? It's unanimous. Motion passes. Thank you. Okay, next item. All right. Uh, at, at the March 12, 2018 meeting, the Town Council referred to the Planning Board a request by Tower Specialist Inc. representing the Stroud family to shrink the Tower Overlay District at 14 Stroud Road. The property owner is doing estate planning. The property owner wishes to shrink the area the Tower Overlay District covers on the lot in anticipation of residential development on the non-tower portions of the property. The zoning map amendment will be reviewed under section 19-10-3 zoning map amendment. Uh, Maureen's gonna give a brief summary and then um, we'll have the applicant uh, address us. So uh, the Tower Overlay District, it's an overlay district and it sits on top of a base district. And the way the Tower Overlay District works is it doesn't take away anything from the underlying base district. It actually adds another use, which is a commercial telecommunications tower. And when the to Tower Overlay District uh, was created, all of the lot now lo located at 14 Strout Road was included in that Tower Overlay District. And the applicant is now asking for that, that, that Tower Overlay District to be shrunk. And it's basically being shrunk from the north to the center and being shrunk from the south to the center so that you have an area that encompasses existing towers and potentially one to two additional towers in portions of the lot that are probably not that suitable for telecommunication towers because of the slope um, are not gonna be in the tower overlay district anymore. The wrinkle in this is that there is an existing tower that is potentially coming down at the end of next year and the planning board has asked that all of the setback area for that existing tower be remain in a tower overlay district. So this is a phase tower overlay district recommendation, that your recommendation basically area A that includes that existing tower, and then if the, the existing tower does come down as scheduled and the applicant notifies the town by April 1st, 2020, the um, zoning district would automatically shrink to a smaller size. Um, if they do not take it down and notify the town by April 1st, 2020, it stays in the phase one location and a full rezoning application would be needed to change it. So I did talk to the town attorney about that and he felt that that was uh, something that would be allowed to be done as long as um, the trigger was very clear. So what the planning board is asked to do for zoning amendments is you make a recommendation to the council and then this will go to the council and they make the final determination. Okay, okay any questions on that? Okay, Justin, you wanna introduce yourself and then go ahead. I'm Justin Stroud, I represent the uh, Stroud Trusts and Tower Specialists on this application. Um, as you've stated, we're trying to shrink the Tower Overlay District so that it encompasses less of the, the remaining lot and more of what it was designed for. Um, we've been over the sizes a few times. I don't have the presentation because you guys don't want to set it up, but um, basically, as Maureen said, we're bringing it down so that it kind of encompasses just the the tower's existing setbacks now, and a little bit beyond. I think we went five feet beyond. Um, and then with phase two, once the other tower is removed, then we bring that in tighter on, on the southern portion and we come, come up to the, towards the north. So I think that's about it, unless you guys have specific questions. Okay, so... Um I'm opening up the uh, planning board to public uh, discussion of the matter. Is there any? 
public hearing. Thank you. Opening the planning board to public hearing. Um, any members of the public wish to step forward and speak? Okay, seeing none, I close the public hearing. Any uh, questions or comments from the board? Victoria. Well, I'll just make the quick comment that um, we did have a workshop, and the workshop probably is going to last five times as long as this meeting right now. We really flushed it out. We really had a very thorough discussion, looking at it in different angles, proportions. So um, anyone that's tuning in tonight and thinks we're being very quiet and just letting this pass, um, it, was, it was a long meeting, and it was a thorough meeting, and I just want to put that on the record. Jonathan. It was actually two meetings, two workshops. That's that true. We came yeah. back to so. Yeah. Yeah. So, and this was something that uh, we really had to look into whether or not, and we measured the need versus uh, uh, what the applicant was asking for with regards to this. And I think we uh, worked very well with the applicant on uh, from what was the original request to what exists now to coming up with this plan here. So. Peter. In more in the same vein, I, I, in, in my opinion, the, what we're doing here is very consistent with the idea of an overlay district, and that is basically tuning it to the use to which the overlay district is being put in, in separate and eliminating areas where don't, they don't seem to have a reason to be within the overlay district. So I, I think this is consistent with the public interest and is a good idea. Andrew? Uh, I'd just like to add that I think it was a good compromise in the end, and um, the phasing seems to be um, uh, a good addition to this, the plan going forward on this, and uh, I think it addresses all the needs as we saw it for the town. Great. Okay. Uh, anybody else? I have a motion. Go for it. Okay. Um, motion for the board to consider be it ordered that based on the plans and facts presented, the planning board recommends the 14 Strout Road Tower related district zoning amendment phase one and phase two with the stipulation that phase two zoning boundary will take effect after the Crown Castle Tower has been removed and not replaced and the property owner provides to the town of Cape Elizabeth written notification confirming that the tower has been removed and not replaced no later than April 1st, 2020. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Uh, and, okay, yes. Opposed? It's unanimous. Awesome. All right. Any other business? Can I have a motion to adjourn? Public comment. Public comment. Public <coughs> comment. Ah, thank you. All right, does anybody wish to make a public comment? <laughs> I don't think so. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Second? <laughs> All in favor? Meeting is adjourned. Wow. This is a record.